Pets matter, your pet's health matters. I'm joined here now by Dr. Sierra Pollock of University Veterinary Hospital. Thanks so much for being here this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. And this morning we're talking about chronic pain in our pets. One of the questions, one of the first questions I thought of, of course, is how can you even tell if your pets are in pain? Yeah, that's a great question. So that's something that it's really hard sometimes for owners to tell that at home. It's really important to open that conversation up with your veterinarian on your normal wellness visits that you're going in for those. You know, there's a lot of key words that they'll, they'll tell you, decreased range of, range of motion, back pain, neck pain, even some arthritis. You know, pets are living longer these days. Um, as veterinary medicine gets better um, and that's just a you know big consideration as far as we want to make their quality of life as good as we can make it oh yeah and we want our pets to be with us for as long as possible so what should pet parents be doing um, to make sure that 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 happens yeah that's a great question I mean recognition is huge um, thinking about you know the major reason that people end up seeking medical care in the US is usually pain yeah. and our pets aren't able to make their own appointments um, um, you know, they're not able to verbally tell you, you know, what's going on. So looking for things like kind of having trouble getting up in the morning, having trouble laying down, not jumping on things that they used to jump on, not wanting to go for as long of walks as they want to go on, right. asymmetry of gait, th those types of things can give us some indicators of pain. I mean, uh, pets usually have the same diseases that we have too, right. arthritis, dental disease that can be causing them some chronic pain, you know, cancer definitely, you know, has a big component of pain. Um, all of these things, you know, are really important considerations and there's so many options in veterinary medicine to relieve that pain that are both safe and effective. Okay, so we are running out of time, but tell me a little bit about those options. Yeah, there's a, a couple different options out there, uh, medications that are good for anti-inflammatory, ones that are better to keep them on long term. There's lots of different options. Um, you can talk to your veterinarian about those different op options you know that pertain to your pet specifically that's beautiful so basically just be watching them as much as you can kind of noticing how they're doing and take them in for their annual absolutely talk to the doctor about your options yeah I love it thank you so much for being here this morning you're welcome we're gonna have a breakdown of all of this for you on our website arclitexhomepage.com after the show stay tuned everybody Josh is gonna have a quick check of your forecast after the break